god, this looks so scary. Hey guys, so today is Monday, July 13th, and I wanted to start today doing this CMOS, I don't want to call it a challenge, but I have seen a few people that I have used CMOS for five days and had incredible results. I don't really suffer too bad with um, like horrible skin, as you can see, my skin is kind of semi-clear now. I do have a few breakouts right now. I kind of popped this one a few days ago and this one's coming in. Then I have some like marks that's still like on my face and there's like certain things. I have my CMOS. This is my CMOS, if you guys remember when I first made it. Um, I've been eating like a scoop a day. I have missed a few days, but overall, when I'm eating it, I do feel energy when I take it. I'm just gonna take a few scoops of it out of here, and I'm just going to put it inside of this little, um, like little, little thingy I got from Dollar Tree. And then also because like this has been in the fridge, it kind of like froze over a little bit. I'm going to just like because you can see it's like really thick it's not gelatin as it was before because it's kind of froze while it was in the fridge i'm going to just do the double boiler method this and then kind of try to like you know melt it i'm going to take my dr bonner's unscented castile soap and i'm just going to cleanse my face with that first so right here, I'm just patting some cold water on, and then I'm gonna just put a little bit of the soap in my hands and just clean my face. It's always good to like cleanse your face before doing any kind of like facial mask or detoxing or anything. This is what my sea moss looks like after I did the double boiler method. So it's back into its gelatin form. I'm just giving you guys like a close up of what my face looks like before I put the mask on. This is optional. I just like didn't want to put my hands in it just to contaminate it. So I was trying to use like the spatula. Um, you don't have to, like, as long as you clean your hands before you put um, the mask on your face, you're good. But I was being extra, and right here I was making this face because it was actually kind of cool. I had put it back in the fridge after I had, um, like, got it back into a shelter form. And now we're just going to get crazy and put it all over my face. This step is also optional, but I just thought it made sense. I really wanted to get the sea moss into my skin. So I'm taking this jade roll that I got from the dollar store and I'm just like um, rolling the sea moss into my skin. I don't think it made a difference, but I wanted to do it. Now I'm just gonna drink my smoothie and wait while this dries. All right, y'all, so I had this in my face for about like 20 minutes. Sorry if I'm talking weird. My face is like literally frozen. Like, it's like, oh. This feels so freaking weird. I'm gonna take my headphones off, hold on. So this feels really, really weird. Like, it's so smooth. Literally, it's like a whole new layer of skin, which is what it feels like. Um, my face is like frozen, so if I'm talking weird, it's because literally like my face is like frozen. Oh my god, this looks so scary. Look at that. Oh my god. This is so creepy. And this is how my neck looks. With this. This feels really weird. 
but this is like what it is right now oh my look at my eyebrows they, look they cannot move <laughs> My eyebrows are like stuck in one place. Look, it's not moving. <laughs> oh my God. Up here is still kind of wet. Okay, so I'm gonna go wash this off now because I look creepy as heck. I had it on for 20 minutes. My face is super duper tight right now. Like everything is kind of like pilling a little bit. Like look at this, it's just so tight. But overall, I like the feel of it, like the tightening of it. I'll be back once I take this mask off of my face. It's right here, it's still kind of wet still, because I had probably too much right there. And like up here, it's a little wet. But the places that I needed it to be, like on this pimple right here, and um, these ones right here, is dry, so. I'm just happy that it got like to this right here like where I needed it to dry at all right y'all so I'm back and I wanted to get as close as I can to the window I did not moisturize my face yet as you can see let me turn the light down a little bit like my face feels so clean right now um you can see like this pimple I had here it actually looks like it kind of like flared up a little bit but I think it's because of me like scrubbing and stuff. It actually feels like when you do like a bentonine clay mask, it just feels like that. Um, it is dry, but that's because I did not moisturize yet. But overall, I just, it feels so smooth. Like I'm not even exaggerating. My skin feels super smooth. Um, it has a little shine to it, a little something. For the next four days, it won't be as um, descriptive and like as detailed as today. It's gonna be basically me just putting it on, me showing you how my skin looks, and then the next, and the next, and the next, until we're done on our fifth day. So stay tuned for the next days, and I hope you guys enjoy this video, and see you tomorrow. All right, y'all, so it's day two. Let's jump right into it. I'm just showing you my face again before I put on the sea mask, the sea moss. <laughs> so um, this is just like a pimple that's like not trying to go away. But I'm just showing you what it looks like now. I'm going to take my sea moss and just put that over my face. I'm going to be doing the same steps for the next, what, three days after this. And we're back at it again with the mummy face. Wait, is it a mummy face? No, you know what this looks like, Benjamin Button. Have you guys seen the movie Benjamin Button with um, Brad Pitt? That's my movie, so sad. But anyway, that's what I look like right now. And right here, like, I don't know, I was being childish. Like, this reminds me of glue, like when you used to be in elementary school and you put glue all over your hand, the Elmer's glue, and you just like to watch it peel. I was kind of doing that with my face and just like doing <laughs> all this crazy stuff and just like making it like get crusty and pill. I don't know. It kind of hurt because my face was tight, but it was fun. So I don't know. <laughs> just rinse my face off. This is my face. Nice and smooth. My neck. I really like how my face always feels after I take this mask off. And I don't know if you can notice. I feel like the pimples that I had yesterday, put the light down a little bit. I feel like they I have actually shrunk, excuse my unibrow, but you can see like these two were bigger yesterday. They shrunk. I'm still like waiting on this one to kind of go away, but it has like, I guess like pus and then it wants to get popped and I want to pop it, but I'm not going to pop it. I just really like how it feels. My skin feels really clean. I didn't moisturize anything yet, so my face is still dry, but I really like how my face feels super super soft like in my neck as well I, I'm thinking about probably making me some sea moss soap um, just because I want the rest of my body to feel this way so that's probably the next thing I'm going to be doing is sea moss soap so see you guys for day three tomorrow day three and I woke up with this little guy um, usually like around the time my lady time is gonna start i get like these breakouts so that's why i have this right now and this actually got bigger as you can see 
but overall I feel like my face is brighter and it actually lightened up some of the dark spots in my face as you can see I'm not um, using the little spatula anymore I stopped trying to be cute and just get down and dirty with it so I'm just gonna be putting this all over my face we well, already know what it is and um yeah that's what I'm doing right now I'm just so mad though that this is here I don't think I mentioned it earlier like in day one or two but I've been putting the sea moss also on my neck I feel like um, just like when you do foundation anything you put on your face you should do with your neck so it can match And this is my face after I rinsed it off. As you can see, my pimple actually went down a little bit. Um, it's not as like red. This though is just, oh, I cannot, but whatever. But this is my face, day three. What's up guys? Um, my hair is disgusting and I'm about to take it out soon. It's just a mess. day four and we are almost done guys so this is what my chin is looking like and up here it's still red um i'm sorry i had to pop this i popped it last night which is probably gonna leave a bad scar it was driving me nuts i stayed at my aunt's house so now i'm just going to be using the um cmos i made before and i sold it to my cousin so i'm going to put my hair up so i don't get any of the cmos in my hair even though i am going to be washing my hair I still don't want to get it in there so we're gonna put that up in a bun and get to it touched my face. Say hi. Say hi, Nene. Say hi. 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 Give me back, give me back. Give me back, give me back. Oh, wait. I want you to get nothing here. Yeah. All right, so I rinsed off my face, my neck. I'm um, feeling good. Sorry, I'm eating. This is what my chin's looking like. Forehead, skin's feeling smooth per usual. This is what this is looking like. It's probably red because, you know, I just like washed my face. So it's irritated and I'm trying to get this sea moss out my hair. But this is what my skin's looking like day four. <laughs> Feeling myself, feeling myself. Let's do a dance with clean skin. Hey, hey, hey. All right, guys. So today is Friday. It's the last day of me doing my CMOS mask. It's also my wash day, so I'm just letting my hair sit. So here's here's my facial um CMOS. It's kind of frozen again, but you know the drill. We've done it for four days now. I'm gonna just put this all over my face, let it sit, let it dry. Um, go shower, rinse out my hair. And I'll be back. Since I've been using this, like what I've realized is honestly not much has changed with my skin besides it being really smooth and like, um, 
it like calms down like the pimples that I've had or yeah like all the ones that were coming in like it's calmed down it had helped these two it's still like a little right there but like I feel like it helped overall like I feel like the CMOS is good for making your skin feel really smooth and I also have not been um taking it like um eating it I've been skipping days so like I don't know Cause you gotta also eat right too to have good skin and for your hair and stuff and i've been low-key like neglecting um eating the right way because i've been super busy and just getting caught up oh my god i think i have shampoo on my neck because it was dripping down because look it's like Sudsy. Oh man. Yeah, it's really slippery. That shampoo. Because when I was uh, putting the shampoo I used, it's kind of watery because I made it. It's black soap shampoo with some um, pure Castile soap and other stuff. And it was dripping down. So yeah, it's mixing in with the sea moss. So, is it on my chin too? Mm. Let's try this again. Okay, that's better. It's not like really sudsy now. Cause that was looking crazy. go with the peeling i don't know why this is so like satisfying to me like it just i don't know i like it like it it pulls the skin doing this because my skin is tight but at the same time it's just like look at the results after that do you see my skin oh my god remember how big that pimple was look at it it's basically gone clean clean and clear i love it and even this is actually healing up good i thought it was gonna leave a bad mark but it's actually not and this is the skin guys day five what do you think so today is monday um it's been a week since i first recorded the first day of using the cmos um, I didn't use it for seven days. I did it for five days. The last time I used it was Friday. And um, my skin right now is kind of like, to me, it's trashy because I've been outside. It was like 96 degrees today. It's so hot. I was sweating. Just doing a lot. So right now, um, I have some new intruders coming in. That's hair. Um, overall, my skin has felt great the days I was using it. I think for better results, it would be great if I was consistent with this and did this like often and also like probably use like a booster with it. Like so I'll probably add some like turmeric powder just to brighten the skin up some more or like some tea tree because that's usually what I use for like my pimples as like spot treatment. Everyone's skin is different. Everybody's results is different. Um, I didn't see a big difference in using the CMOS, but I did see like, you know, my face was much shinier, it was much smoother. But um, overall, I feel like my skin looks really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you're not already. Feel free to share this video to anyone who might be curious about using CMOS as a facial mask. And stay tuned for my next video later. Yes.